Hello everyone, welcome back to Karen's English Shop and we are continuing the summaries of 7th uh, class English and in this video we are entering into unit 4 here and uh, unit 4 reading A is Tenali paints a horse okay let us simply go through the lines here yeah so you can see the title Tenali paints a horse so look at the picture and answer the questions that follow just look at the picture here Okay, so yeah, you see, okay, a man sitting on a high throne. You can see some like ministers or generals on the right and left side. You can also see a man, okay, he was standing in front of uh, another person sitting on the high throne and uh, making some conversation with him. Okay, so looking at the title itself, you can understand that we are going to read about Tenali, okay. So a great poet in the history of Telugu literature. Okay, yeah. So we shall quickly read, read read about him in this lesson. So we have some questions before getting into the text. Yeah, first one here we have. Look at the title and guess what you're going to read about. Okay, so look at the title here. Tenali paints a horse. So simply we can understand that Tenali is going to paint something. And the painting is horse okay next what do you think who do you think the person you know, with the turban okay who do you think the person with turban okay so this person we can know about him later in the text okay so till now you can just imagine as a king okay next can you name the person sitting on the throne okay <laughs> we cannot run anywhere come on okay we shall name him now so Tenali here he converts, con uh, he makes conversation with Krishna Devaraya. Okay, so the king of Vijayanagara kingdom. So this is Krishna Devaraya, and he is pandit. Okay, so Tenali is a pandit. Okay, a pandit or a poet in the kingdom of Krishna Devaraya. Okay, next, can you think Tenali Raman will do? Uh, what do you think Tenali Raman will do in the story? So what do you think? So he might be painting or doing something. Okay, so uh, the character of Tenali in all the stories that we have read is just like a mature character or a knowledgeable character where he saves his people or his kingdom or his king. Okay, uh, from the, uh, you know, um, like um the magics are the blind magics are the black magics of the other people okay so he has that much knowledge to you know just defeat um or defend his king or defeat and defeat people other people who enter into his kingdom next can you share a story about tenali raman yes of course uh, so we know many stories of tenali tenali raman his full name is tenali Rama, raman so if you know any story you can share in the, in the class yeah fine so we have oral discourse here so each one of you share a joke before your class okay so since Telani Raman is a type of a comic character okay usually shown in the stories or the poems that we have read okay so here we have a discourse saying or asking us to share a joke so all the students who are in the class must share this joke before you could start uh, listening to this text. Okay? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, here we have a reading A and uh, we have some free phrase to that. Let us see. So Tenali Raman was a poet. Okay, so here we are getting some information about Tenali Raman. Okay, yeah. Tenali Raman was a poet and a jester. Okay, what do you mean by jester? A jester in the sense a person who is very jovial in the sense who is funny funny in the sense uh, not like a person who is with less knowledge and all okay he a jester in the sense a person who is more knowledgeable with some comic elements okay just like satiric elements okay so he was a poet he was a poet and a jester in the court of king krishna devaraya of vijayanagara krishna Deva, devaraya of vijayanagara in the sense Krishna Devaraya was the ruler of Vijayanagara kingdom. 
so he was famous for his wit and intelligence wit knowledge okay his wit and humor we usually call it right so wit and intelligence so this interesting play provides an example of his wit okay so this particular uh, lesson this particular uh, play uh, gives us the information or gives us an idea of his wit or his, uh, of his intelligence next read the drama and answer the questions that follow oh yeah sure next characters here uh, raja krishna devaraya king of vijayanagara okay next tanare raman poet and jester in the court next first court here second court here third court here and fourth court here so this particular lesson is in the form of what play don't forget that okay yeah so we have got scene one here okay so what do we usually have in the play in the play we have scenes acts okay so majorly we have many other things okay dialogues characters and everything when you start saying about play so or when you start writing about the play you must have scenes and also you must have acts in the scenes okay so here we have got scene one so what is scene one so one day raja krishna devaraya and his courtiers watch as an artist shows his paintings to the king so the king and most of his courtiers are impressed with the paintings however one of the courtiers tanali raman looks displeased so in the opening shot okay when the screen is up in the opening shot in the scene one we see um you know uh, yeah so this 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 thing here so courtiers in the sense all the people who are sitting around the king okay so tenali raman was also one among them so when the situation was like that there was a man okay just imagine this man i think okay this man uh, has come from some place and uh, he starts to paint beautiful pictures okay uh, right in front of everybody so everybody was very very overwhelmed very everybody was very happy looking at the pictures but there is one person who is unhappy who is that person the person is him that is tanali okay so raja that is really a beautiful painting i can almost feel the peace of the village sen you are very talented artist here is a bag of gold for you we shall be very pleased if you can stay on at our court and make more beautiful paintings like this so just looking at the picture raja says oh this is very beautiful beautiful painting and uh, the village scene that you have painted in the picture attracts me very much and it gives me a lot of pleasure so take this bag of gold and uh, be in my kingdom as a painter and keep on painting like this okay so he wants to he wa uh, raja wants that artist to make many more beautiful paintings so artist your highness is very kind it will be an honor to paint for your majesty so the artist also is very very happy um to get permission to paint in raja's um, kingdom okay so tenali interrupts in between and starts i do not think they are such good paintings at all so his he, tenali always you know shows his wit shows his intelligence in between when something is going on so that is usually his character okay but he is not like a person who always interrupts but whenever he speaks in between or whenever he interrupts there is a valid or there is a point which is very much useful okay so now tanali says i don't think that is a very beautiful painting raja how can you say that i think they are perfectly lovely okay so raja is little bit angry with tanali now he saying tanali what happened to you what's wrong with you man see that is such a beautiful painting and how can you say that is not beautiful so tanali for one thing where is the other side of these two men you can only see their one side for another where is the face of the cow now just look at this question silly question right so in the paint usually we don't find the other side for example look at the picture of uh, this man see there are two people right so those two people only one side is uh, seen in the picture and uh, tanali is asking about the other side of those two people and tanali is also asking the face of the cow see cow is drawn like uh, you know it is just like sitting towards the sunrise there so tanali is asking for the face of the cow okay 
next so raja what an ignorant fool you are everything cannot be painted you must imagine the bits that are missing so now raja might have been fond of paintings and he knows how to uh, you know explain those paintings so raja said see how foolish you are tanali how can you know all the things can be explained in picture you should imagine for example if one side of the man is shown in the picture you should imagine another side the back side of the cow is shown in the picture you should imagine the front side you should imagine the picture okay finally he says that so tanali i bet i can paint better than that well i could if i had the if i had the paints okay so now tanali is betting with raja she so said i am betting with you now if i had paintings i would have painted a picture which is better than this okay yeah raja i bet a bag of gold that you can't i will give you the paints and the papers you may also take leave from the court for a month if at the end of the month you bring me a painting that is half as good as the one we saw today i promise you a bag of gold and the title king of artists so raja wants to defend himself saying that this is the one of the most beautiful pictures he ever he has, he has ever seen so now raja also agrees to bet with tanali and raja says okay tanali fine i'm betting with you so i'm giving you paint i'm giving you papers and i'm also giving you a leave for one month okay so after one month if you paint a painting okay if you paint uh, you know a painting which is more beautiful or more good than this particular painting then i will give you a bag of gold and also uh, i will give you a title as what as king of artists okay so tenali here i agree after a month i will show you a better painting than the one so tenali agreed saying that he will show a better painting than the particular painting okay so next the courtier starts smiling thinking that he would lose the bet they know tenali raman cannot paint at all tenali looks at the uh, you know giggling courtier angrily and walks out so when tenali challenged a bet with krishna devaraya all the courtiers finally you know they were laughing at tenali because they all knew that tenali cannot paint okay giggling in the sense you know laughing in a mocking way okay when we mock our friends in the classrooms that is called as giggling okay over smiling that is called simply so now tenali got angry just like your friends get angry when you laugh at them okay so he just got angry and uh, walked out of the court next so first courtier you have really caught him out sir he thinks he is the smartest smartest person in the world okay now these people are jealous okay they are complaining just like complaining to raja saying so you have made a wonderful bet uh, your highness because he is thinking that he is the smartest person second courtier he has really painted himself into a corner i would like to see him get out of get out of that one raja i wouldn't be too certain of that he is really very clever okay now raja also knows uh, since uh, this tanali raman is a little bit intellectual and a clever man raja also thought that uh, you know he would get out of that or he would win that bet okay yeah so scene 2 so what happens here when scene 2 so amanth is over the courtiers are waiting eagerly for tanali to bring in his painting they are smiling and whispering to each other okay they are smiling in sense not just smiling you can just imagine like giggling okay just like before just mocking him so after one month all the courtiers are sitting in front of raja okay so um, everybody started speaking of this particular day and uh, they are all eagerly waiting to uh, you know see the pictures of uh, picture of tenali okay so the raja has come so raja said so what do we do today okay guys what shall we do today okay so that was a casual thing that he was asking so first quote here sir the day has arrived when tanali raman shows you his painting raja where is he it's late and almost time for my lunch second quote here perhaps 
he is so busy with his painting that he has uh, lost track of the days third courtier perhaps his painting is so good that he cannot bear to part with it raja well i can't wait any more someone should go to his house and tell him that he has lost his bet and get uh, um, lost his bet and the bag of gold so all the courtiers are giving their explanation some of them are speaking positive and some of them are speaking negative okay look at first second and third courtiers okay so somebody is telling that he might have lost uh, you know his mind or he has lost his track in the sense he has lost his mind by painting and someone has you know is giving some type of <clears throat> uh you know a mocking uh, statement saying that his painting is so good and because of that he is not able to show us and all okay so that is the type of irony that he is placing there so raja is finally saying okay fine um it is time for my lunch and uh, someone still he did not come so he lost the bet so someone please go to him and tell him that he has lost the bet and uh, he also lost what was importantly the bag of coal next fourth courtier it is only fair that if he doesn't make uh, good his boast he should pay a penalty i feel he should pay the coat a bag of gold okay so finally fourth one is little bit against kanali he is saying raja you cannot simply leave him like that since he has wasted you know your time and all previously and since he is lost today okay he should pay you a bag of gold in penalty okay so first quote here indeed yes i agree sir that he should third quote here ha uh-huh. there he is he seems to have brought it but it is covered with cloth so finally kanali has arrived to the court okay and the third quote here saying finally he has come here okay, okay look at him look at him there but he has covered his painting with a cloth yeah so kanali comes in with two men carrying a painting covered with a sheet of cloth so when kanali gestures the men lifted the cloth to display an empty canvas the painting has only a few curved strokes of black on the right hand edge and a few green lines at the bottom below it okay so finally uh, when the when he has arrived he ordered two of the men two of the soldiers who were standing there to hold the painting and when he removed the uh, you know cloth from the painting there was nothing but a simple display of empty canvas okay canvas and send the painting sheet so there are just like you know strips up and down strips and at the edge um, you know right hand edge there are some uh, green lines and all only simple simple four five six lines are there so tenali <clears throat> good afternoon sir see what a beautiful horse i have drawn it is a magnificent black stallion with a white star on its forehead look at the polished leather saddle on it hmm i wonder if i should have the rain the rain stray like that now you know tenali started explaining about his painting now he's saying he's telling good afternoon sir okay good afternoon your majesty so see what a beautiful you know horse i have painted okay i have drawn so it is very magnificent okay magnificent in the sense adbhutamaina acharyamaina okay so magnificent black stallion with a white star on its forehead so that is actually an impossible mark or an impossible style that any horse could have okay so you can simply tell you know there are no horses like this in the world uh you know with this much beautiful features so he is explaining but tenali is explaining his horse in a such a beautiful way but nothing is appearable there see you see uh, let me zoom in a little bit yeah yeah so look at the painting there so the painting has nothing it is just like a wall okay on the right side and on the left side you can see it simply a tail okay and uh, but tenali here is explaining about the color black magnificent color and the white star on its forehead and everything but for reality there is nothing okay appearable there only just like a pen on strokes in the sense lines and the tail of horse okay so everybody see all the uh, courtiers even the soldiers here everybody is laughing and uh, here raja is 
little bit confused is he gone mad and all okay yeah so finally what is this i cannot see your horse this is very insulting you are trying to make a fool of me there is nothing on this canvas okay exactly this dialogue exactly suits this um, face expressions tanali i will lost your mind man what is this are you trying to make me a fool see there is nothing on that uh, you know uh, on the paper on the canvas and what are you trying to explain you are telling that you are there is a beautiful horse and all but there is no horse it is only tail okay so tanali well you were the one who to who uh, one who told me that we had to use our imagination when we looked at paintings imagine that the rest of the horse is just outside the canvas grazing at some lush green grass look you can see the edge of its tail in the corner see how beautiful point he has caught okay so what is this point his point was you know when raja first said that we should imagine painting we cannot you know paint everything on a paper we should imagine some of the parts okay so now tenali is telling see sir we cannot paint everything on a paper you should imagine the picture rest of the picture so tenali is asking raja now to imagine the rest of the picture where the horse is gazing outside you know outside the um, outside area gazing some green grass and all so now tenali is showing only some part of it and what is the part only a tail okay so raja you old rascal you have got the better of me minister where is the bag of gold give it to tenali ramon the cleverest man in my kingdom so finally raja of course king uh, krishna devaraya has lost in his bet because he himself had told tenali that all the painting cannot be painted on a canvas some of the painting must be imagined so the way that tenali ramon has explained is more beautiful than the picture than the picture that was previously painted by a painter so equally taking these both paintings in the place of imagination and in the place of the appearance that is there on the picture so in, when we compare these both so raja finds that his imagination or his ideology is better than the previous painting so that is what he asked his minister to bring a bag of gold and the sentence he says here you old rascal is with the is with the honor is with the friendliness okay so since tenali ramon has got the same point got the points from his king and the same point he used to win the bet so because of that clash raja is saying you old rascal you have got the better of me okay so don't think in a negative way here yeah fine so we have got um, glossary here wit the ability to say clever and amusing things just a, a man who tells jokes and funny stories gestures okay that is not gestures that you can call it as gestures signals with hand stallion an adult male horse okay we all the horses you can call the ho- all the horses all the horses but particular male adult horse is called as stallion okay not stallion stallion okay yeah fine so with this we complete this you know uh, humorous and uh, the one of the be- most beautiful text we ever had that is unit 4 and reading 8 and ali paints horse and in next uh, you uh, next uh, video we shall go through reading b um, that is dear mom okay yeah fine so before leaving the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will get all the notifications whenever i upload the next videos so if you like the video just simply hit on a bell hit on a like button and hit on a bell after the subscribing so that you will get the notification so until then see you all take care god bless you